Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I'm going to go over how to filter lists against the negative word list. So if you happen to have URLs that you want to take out because they are on a particular theme that you don't want or a niche that you don't want or something like that, you can do that. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do it. First of all, let's say I have a negative word list and I just want to get rid of things like gambling or pornography or pharmacy or that sort of stuff. Um, I can make a negative word list and I have one already made up and saved off. And so go here to filter remove and remove URLs containing entries from and then we're going to choose that text list here and I'm going to choose negative word list and it's going to remove any URLs and you can see it got rid of about 4,000 URLs. Now that is URLs that happen to have my particular word from my negative word list in it. So my negative word list looks like this. And so if I happen to have those words in um, a URL then it's going to remove them. However, that may not necessarily qualify because if it happens to be a, a site like this where it happens to be a domain name and then the post is not SEO geared so that the URLs or the words rather aren't in the URL then it's not going to do it. So in that case we can use the page scanner add-on so basically if you don't have it go to show available add-ons and find the page scanner add-on and then install it and I'm going to go here to the page scanner and then let's load in the list of URLs from Scrapebox and then we're going to need to make a footprint. So we just do edit footprints and let's say we're going to call this the negative word list but let me just pop in let's do sex, pharmacy and gambling. Now what this is going to do is it's going to look for any of these three words on the page. If they're on the page it's going to show found and so we can discard those URLs. If they're not on the page then we know that it doesn't have those particular words on there. Now obviously you could use this for any words you want but let's add the entry and we'll just call it negative and make sure it's checked off there and then we're just going to hit start. I'm just going to leave it on 10 connections and let it run. Now if it's found it'll show in the result here it'll show negative. Now the thing about this is is so for instance here's one that has it and another so we can see those words are found on that page. Now if this is URLs you're looking at that uh, an end user has created the content then it's probably a lot safer but let's say this is blog comments or forum URLs or anything else where any user can contribute to the content well if in one of the comments the blog comments or one of the posts someone happens to use one of your negative words like pharmacy or gambling or sex say they're out uh, promoting that site and they're another SEO or a link builder or whatever out there um, you get the point. Someone out there promoting their site or they happen to use the word in a non, you know, negative term, which you're, you're, you'd be fine with, but they happen to use it on the page, then it's going to show up. So you can see it shows up even with those three words, they show up quite a bit. And so if you're not careful with the page scanner, you can eliminate and get a lot of false positives. You might have a blog post that happens to be about, you know, why trees grow better in the rainforest than they do in um, Antarctica, which is obvious, but say you had a, a thing about why trees go great in the rainforest, a particular kind of tree. It's a great article, it's right on your niche, you know, it's high pay drink, low OBL, and there do follow links in the whole nine yards, but someone has come along and made a comment on there that happens to have, uh, you know, the word gambling in it because they're promoting their gambling site. Well, the whole page content's not about gambling, but if you went ahead and ruled that out based on this, you could lose some really good links. So you just want to be careful in your footprints on your page scanner that you don't go wild and include all kinds of words. Um, otherwise, you can filter out a lot of false positives very quickly and lose a lot of good links. The other thing to note is on footprints, you can also do the and operator. So you can do this sort of thing where you can do if it has sex and and you do a percent a and d and another percent sign and the pharmacy then you could do it or let's say you wanted to do sex and porn and then you wanted to do or it could have you know pharmacy and viagra I think that's how you spell it. I get a lot of stupid spam emails about it. Um, so let's say if it had either one of those, then you would do it. And so if we apply that sort of a footprint, 
because it's requiring both words to be there, it'll tighten things up. So if you can use two words that you want, that you know are pretty much almost always going to be synonymous, and if the page content is about that theme that they're most likely to show up, you can see that we have narrowed it down and gotten rid of a few of them, but it's obvious that we can still see those words. We still have a lot of them, so we can still see those words together in comments uh, about other things. So just be careful that you don't rule out a lot of false positives there. But that's how you can use the page scanner to remove negative words. And then you can also use a negative word list to take URLs out that have your negative words in it that you want to get rid of. And that is how you can use Scrapebox to filter your list for negative words. <laughs>